California State University Long Beach's theater department is ranked number nine in the nation of the top universities to attain a Bachelor of the Arts in theater. It is also home to Jennifer Richardson, a treasured graduate student and teacher in CSULB's Masters of the Fine Arts Acting Pedagogy program. Here, we'll have a visit with Jen and take a look at her definition of critical thinking in the creative world of theater. Can you briefly explain what you do for a living? <laughs> I can. I teach acting at Cal State University Long Beach. I te teach an intro to acting class to 50 undergraduates who are not theater majors. And I love it. I'm very passionate about it. And I love teaching. That's what I do. What is your definition of critical thinking? Critical thinking, per Jennifer Richardson, the ability to take in information and a body of knowledge that you have and apply clear thinking using reason and logic to come to new thoughts or conclusions. How do you apply critical thinking as a teacher? Let's use the example of two students who are doing a scene. I am sitting evaluating their work as a teacher. And so what I'm doing is I'm using the body of knowledge I have that I've learned in my experience as an actor and I'm watching the students in front of me and I'm applying what I know but really taking in what is in front of me, deciphering or discerning what can help them. And that involves critical thinking because I am taking things and thinking outside the box. I'm putting it right now in the moment to the situation. I think the more knowledge you have, the more observation you've done of life, the more you've practiced doing these things, the clearer your reasoning and logic are going to be and the clearer your thinking is going to be. And all that falls under the realm of critical thinking. How does critical thinking play a role in your everyday life? I think we're all capable of critical thinking from a very young age. But I remember clearly as a child, the first time I got sick, and I tried to put together the steps that led up to that. Like I was putting together specific cause-effect things, and I think that you start doing that as a child, just automatically as a human being in the world. As a friend, for example, we listen to our friends who might have a problem or they've had a breakup or any life issue and you try to figure out how to help them. And you listen to what, it, what do you need and what are the things that led up to this and what can help you move forward. And we help each other ask those questions. I think that's the best way to be a human in the world. I want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem, and I think that involves a certain level of critical thinking. What impact does critical thinking have in the theater world? Theater comes from something. So let's consider the playwright. The playwright exists in a context, a historical context. It's where they live now, and it's what they're looking at in the past, and it's the audience they're going to perform for in the future. So it involves, necessarily involves, an open-minded investigation of the world. To be a theater maker, you have to critically analyze the environment we live in. And I think that that also extends to directors who have a concept for a piece. There's always the question of why do this piece at this moment in time? Why write this piece? Why direct this piece? Why do I need to direct this? What is the message I want to do? How do? What is the change I want to make in the audience? It also is the producer's question. Why am I going to put my attention, time, energy, money into this piece of theater art? It's all about making change in the world, making change in your, your scene partner, making change in your life. If you're involved in the, specifically in the realm of social activism theater, then you're, you're necessarily thinking about how do I want to reach what audience? Am I trying to reach people who have an opposing point of view or am I trying to empower the people who share a similar point of view? And I think that desire to reach an audience, the desire to change an audience, the desire to change your partner, the desire to make a statement is what theater making is about.